Look at his track record, beating the odds. He's managed to uh, row his way back in to the fight. 59 years old, uh, the World Surf Ski Championship in Hawaii. Uh, listen to this, 12 times, 12 times. I don't know if anybody else even bothered to take part afterwards. He achieved success in numerous other competitions as well. Uh, now chronicling, chronicling his life in uh, his new book, as well as his achievements, uh, No Retreat, No Surrender. What a pleasure to welcome uh, Oscar to the show. Oscar, good to have you with us. And we're going to talk about some of your successes. I'm looking at your book uh, and uh, just the photos. I'm one of those people who first goes to the photos. The photos are worth a thousand words, of course. But I think before we start there, all your fans around South Africa just want to know how are you doing with the treatment? Let's start there briefly. Well, I've just had a big major operation. You see, I've got a little drain in, in my head. So I had about, I don't know, 60 or 70 stitches. They took out a big patch of uh, skin cancer. So I was one of the fortunate few. I only, not only got multiple myeloma, bone marrow cancer, but I got skin cancer as well, just to help me out on my way. A bit swollen because uh, I just came out of chemo as well, but I'm feeling good. I feel positive. Uh, I don't look too good. <laughs> but what, who cares? <laughs> a, 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 who cares? But also, you look fantastic for someone who's gone through uh, what you have. And just, I think, from everyone uh, who's followed your career, all the best with the treatment, Oscar. No doubt you're going to come on top, uh, come out on top of this uh, as well. Tell me a little bit about the book. I mean, I know I've got the book on set, but if I look at your life, uh, not just from your sporting achievements, but what you've achieved, uh, I, I would have expected twice the size of this as well, yet you've managed to compress it uh, into a book which is probably only around uh, 230 pages. Where did the idea come from so what happened when uh, I got the news on on the 25th of November it happened to be the day before my wife's 60th birthday to say no you're not gonna last very long and and I'd really organized a special birthday thing and, and my wife said no we can't do it and she's obviously tearful and I said listen I'm still alive I'm here mm. I've done so much in my life I'm gonna do it and then I took a, a phone call with my friend uh, Graham Spence my co-author and uh, I said, hey, I've got uh, cancer. I think it's time to write the book. And I just didn't want to make it a book like every other sports book. I wanted this book to really uh, help people that are going through tough times in life. And we all go through them, but nobody puts it down. So that's how it came about. So that's why every book that I sell goes to Campaigning for Cancer. It's a nonprofit organization. And after every chapter, you've got a life lesson of the lessons I've learned, the mistakes I've made, and the mistakes I didn't make, and things, the good and the bad, you know. So that's what I try to bring in this book. And, and, uh, and I think I'm very happy with uh, what Graham and I have achieved. It's taken two years. And again, you're right. right. I mean, there's so many other stories that are left out. People say, oh, you left mm -hmm. this story out and that mm -hmm. story. You just can't do it. You know? Maybe that's uh, book number two. I was about to say if there's going to be a book uh, number two. I see Derek Watts in the foreword as well. Uh, you've got a couple of forewords here. Uh, Derek Watts, very well-known uh, journalist, of course. I first interviewed Oscar. Uh, I'm just reading this. I quote, I first interviewed Oscar when he was 15 years old. I'm still interviewing, and Oscar is still winning uh, in many more ways. I mean, when you look at uh, just some of the images that I see here, I mean, how do you even try and narrow it down to one? I think most people, of course, uh, know you for your surf skiing prowess, multiple world champion. There was just nobody else near you uh, at uh, at the height of your strength. But a uh, doozy, I think, is what most people uh, will associate you with as well. And you had a couple of very interesting uh, celebrities sitting in the back of your K2 with you. Doc Kumalo, uh, we had uh, Peggy Sue Kumalo. Uh, who stood out for you? And why would you put yourself through that? I see you even had uh, baby Jake Matlala. He couldn't have been much help in the water. No, he was, he was, he was the nicest guy you'll ever meet and, and bless his soul. I mean, he was so small. And he was so scared of the water, he couldn't swim, and he he would he wouldn't even touch the water. And we and we only had one. Uh, we had our first lesson at the at Ernie Pierce Weir, and from then on. But the people loved him. I mean, that's the nice thing. It really brought the the, the community together to have all these guys. Uh, Sibu Sisu Balani, Unati Unati, said it changed her life. You know, so she she really enjoyed it. Nas was a, a, obviously a very aggressive. He wanted to do well, so he did that. And then Clive Barker was fun. You know, he. <laughs> old, old, the, the dog Bart Barker. He was. He would walk very slowly on the portages, but we never had a swim with him, and we had a, a lot of fun and, and and bringing the community together. And I think that's what uh, life's about: is the support. The support that those guys had was amazing, you know. So, and and it was fun seeing the, all the different aspects. I mean, Doctor loves his cell phone, and he's always was on it all the time. And uh, those are the fun parts of, of life: is meeting all these uh, special people, you know, Ernie Elses and and all the people at the Olympics and things like that. So. They, there's so much to tell, and it's so difficult to put into a book and what to cut in and what to cut yeah. out. But the most important thing that I'm trying to do is sort of 
through my life try and help other people uh, get better and, and don't make those mistakes that I made, you know, like don't wear uh, your cap all the time and get sunburnt and then you get skin cancer later. It only comes later, you know, and you're all is, cool is, when you're young and you've got behind is that what, the wrong way. Is that what way, happened, you know? Oscar? Is that what happened? Can you share that with yeah, me? Well, is that what is, happened? Yeah, so basically this is, this is a... Uh, with the cancer and all the, the chemotherapy, it's also uh, made my immune system go down a lot. And then now all these skin cancers come. So I've cut half my ear off already and the shoulders and thing. And now they took a big, big lump out of my, my skull uh, yesterday to uh, to take that out. So because it was the fifth time they're taking out the, 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 the skin cancer. In fact, my doctor who did the, the surgery just arrived, Dr. Willem Erasmus there, he just arrived in the surgery where I am here now. Uh, sorry about Hopefully this. they take the thing out of my head. <laughs> Sorry about that, Doc. We're in the middle of an interview, but I'm not going to uh, keep you. Oscar, I, I mean, there's just too much to talk about in such a no short problem. time. I think what I want to do is not give away any spoiler alerts uh, at all. And, and I think one of the ones that uh, the chapters that most people have to read, page 33, marching to a different drum. It's what you've always done through your entire life. And I know you're battling uh, cancer at the moment, but uh, I'm sure there's the support of thousands and thousands of fans around the country when we wish you all the very best uh, in uh, not just your recovery, but in your book, uh, World Champion Sports and ultimately cancer warrior. You won't see the last of him. I really appreciate your time. All the best, uh, Oscar Chalupski, uh, former world surf ski champion. Uh, here's the book just one more time. Uh, if you do want to go and grab a, a hard copy of that, it is available at the moment.